Welcome guys, welcome to another Monday game review with me, your host Ash Wolves. Here you go, so today we are playing a moderately new game called Survival Vacancy. Huge shout out to the devs for dropping a copy of the game for our Monday game review. I have a few list of games to play on Monday game review. So I've played a bit of the game, it reminds me, it's like a 2D version of, let's say, Factorio and there's uh, a hint of Life in Bunker and some other games. As you can see the tutorial is still there, every time you start a new game the tutorial is there. Yep. So basically it's telling me to dig through the ground. Just to give you guys a bit of a tutorial also. These colored rocks are metal ore. These are the ones that you can pick up by hand. And these are the ones that you need to mine the deposits. This I don't think you guys can even see my mouse anyway. So what I'm digging now is copper. It's a weird texture for copper. And the green stuff is algae, I think, if I remember. The rest is stone. Right, so this guy you have to start off a factory. There is enemies in this game. I've dealt with a few. So overall the game is a interesting game if you like. If you're a fan of, let's say, Satisfactory or Factorio, you'd love this game. As you can see, it's running better than all the rest of games that I run on my system. For the art style, it's optimized for the lowest possible computer because I'm running on and I actually I'm running on a. GT 710, I forgot what graphics card I had there for a moment and it's giving me 110 frames per second 101 just above 100 frames so if you have a not so decent computer and you want a game to play you can check out this game I'll drop a link below in the description for you guys anyway that was a long intro let's go as you can see, I mined a bit from one deposit that is so, so unfair. So I'd have to mine a bit more till I find. There's three main materials in the game. Iron, which I found already. Copper and, well, three, four main materials. Iron, copper, stone and algae. If I'm pronouncing that right. This game has a whole research tree just as Factorio does. I haven't find, found a copper deposit yet, so this is annoying. And I finally found a copper deposit just to show you guys what copper looks like as a deposit. That's one there. And let me see if I can find. Well, you already saw I am. See if I can find. Oh my lord. Oh, there's. Seriously? Right, so these rocks here you can't dig through till you level up. At least that's what I think. Right, and there is the. Yeah, algae. However, you pronounce it in your country. And that's what you use to make food for your colonists. So it has a bit of um what's this game I played the other day? I remember that game name. 
probably do that in the next review. That's a bit of that game. Autonauts, right? Yeah. That took a while. There's a bit of Autonauts in the colony side of the game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just... I'm not going to run through the whole game right now. Let me just show you guys how it looks when you're kind of fully or averagely play the game for like about three hours. Alright guys, so we're back. I just loaded in one of my save games that I played earlier on. As you can see, I'm a bit advanced in it. I have the whole automated system. Electricals up here. Torrents because... Alright, just as I said that the enemy pops up. That's what the enemies look like. Like a... Some, like in, you can say it looks like a crash dummy. That's all you basically have to worry about. Once you have these torrents and a constant supply of ammunition, you're safe for a while. Right. So as you can see, the resources on the rails, as you call it in this game. That's a smelter. It's smelting, and for some reason, when I See if it smells. Oh, it's probably full. That's probably why. Right, I have four colonists in here. As you can see, I'm producing few bella food from the algae that goes to the food processor and down to the shelter, which produces garbage. Right, so that's about it for. It's just a quick game review. I'd read this game in like uh I'd give it like let's say a in a one to ten scale. I'd give it like uh honestly I'll give it a eight. Reason being the game can run on basically any system. Doesn't matter how old or outdated your system is, it can basically run on any system at a decent frame rate and in my opinion I love management games and anything to do with factories so I'd, I'd give it an 8 for that it reminds me of some other games that I play a lot like Factorio, Satisfactory, Autonauts which I'll show you guys in the next review next week if you guys want to get your hands on the game, I'll drop a link in the description. Alright guys, this is Ashbo saying enjoy the rest of your evening. See you guys hopefully tomorrow for another video. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll do another satisfactory Maga base episode tomorrow so we, you guys can get to see that. See you guys in the next one. Ash was out. Please don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. Out. <laughs>